In today's Nugget session, we'll talk about a looming recession indicated by the auto industry. Hi everyone, welcome to the episode of 21st August. Let me start with highlighting the status of all the sectors with significant stocks in 100 to 90 percent, and this will be useful in the Nugget section. Automobiles has four companies right now in the 80 to 100 percent zone, and auto has been up for most of the time in the last 10 11 days as well. Banking has only one bank in the top zone three banks in 70 to 80 percent zone and banking has actually not done very well in the last 10 days insurance has two companies in the top and insurance has done reasonably well in the last 10 days pharma and software four each in the 90 to 100 percent zone today zero was divi's lab up 3.76 percent titan is back two and a half percent gold is nearly at all time high now hindalco continues to rally Today, Tech Mahindra was the laggard 1.5%. Insurance was the rockstar sector today also. Today, LIC joined the party 1.5% up. SBI Life, HDFC Life continue to go up 2.2%, 2%. While LIC is still far off from 52-week high low, the next four players are at 52-week high. Today, ICICI twins did not do much. This is to do with the bad news from ICICI because ICICI securities delisting was approved and we'll talk about it. Food and tobacco was up a lot today. The big boys were not up much, but look at Adani Wilmer, upper circuit. Today, the graph was again in the favor of bulls. Banking was the worst sector today. It was actually a lot more worse. However, banks made a big comeback in the last 30 minutes. Real estate was the second worst. I was talking about volatility in the context of Nifty and Bank Nifty last few days. Today, volatility was back. Till this point, actually, it seemed that Nifty is not having a great day. That's specifically because banks were down a lot starting here. And then came the big, big, big move. Nearly 350 points on Bank Nifty and close to 90, 100 points in Nifty in about half an hour time. The main thing was this was a complete reversal, which probably market was not expecting at this stage. And at every point here, market probably thought a reversal will come and the Nifty and Bank Nifty will fall. When you zoom for an expiry day in Bank Nifty, this is big volatility. At the end of the day, Nifty was up 0.3%. This is primarily because of the last half an hour rally. Bank Nifty 0.2% down. This was down probably 0.5-0.6% before that rally. Nifty IT did not go anywhere. Nifty energy up marginally. Next 50 up 0.3%. Defense was up today 0.75% led by the shipping companies. DIs bought a lot today 3100 crore. FI sold just 800 crore. Greed came down from 53% to 51%. Primary reason is probably because the call options which were open for today's expiry, they got covered. Also some of the big boys, HDFC, ICICI, SBI, they were down and they are a lot bigger than HUL, ITC, LNT kind of players. Reliance gain and TCS gain were not very high though ATL was up 1.2%. Gold up, silver up. Today I have replaced Reliance GDR which is listed in London Stock Exchange. So in fees up, HDFC down, Reliance GDR is 0.7% up. There may not be 1 is to 1 correlation so tomorrow Reliance may not open with this much gap up. Bitcoin is showing 0.75% up but it's a big move. Yesterday it was around 55,000 when we shot the video. Rupee weakened a bit. Brent is also up. Yesterday US markets were not looking very good. Now when I looked at this data closely, my gut feel said Reliance is going to go up very soon. I might take some positions for next 2-3 months. Do you know why? Because the gap between Reliance and TCS is becoming narrow. Reliance does not like its position getting threatened at all. NCLT approved ICIC securities delisting. This was a crazy news. If you look at the numbers, this is back of envelope calculation. If you have 100 shares of ICI securities at the starting of today, 870 rupees, then its worth is 87,000. You will get 67 stocks of ICICI, which is at 1175. So you will get nearly 9,000 less. Usually these calculations are done at par on the cutoff date. That is why the stock was down around 7-8% today. Till the delisting date, these stocks will now move in tandem. So TCS was down for most of the day, then it went up. Reliance was up, then it came down. This down movement is when the IT stocks came up. Infosys was down, then suddenly shot up. HUL up whole day, ITC up whole day. VIX came down continuously throughout the day. HDFC Bank from the bottom of the day suddenly shot up to nearly the top of the day. So did ICICI, ISPI up, PNB. This was one hell of an expiry. Out of thin air, no one was expecting this. Defense was a surprise package today. Mazgaon Dock was up 6%. Data patterns was choppy, Cochin Shipyard not at the top of the day but 
closed with significant gains. GRSE was also up a lot. BL shot up towards the end of the day. Metals, Hindustan Zinc cooled down a bit. Tata Steel came down for the whole day, but no major gains for any stock. Volumes were good. IT sector was really choppy. It gained towards the end of the day, but TCS only was up 0.6%. The power pack did not go anywhere, NTPC was up a bit, volumes for Adani pack were high, rest all were low. Oil camp company also, HPCL was the only stock up, Castrol up 7%, but overall the pack did not go anywhere. Significant players are close to 52 week high here, including Reliance 7.3% away. Consumption pack was on fire today, all stocks nearly were positive. The volumes were fantastic, lot of players near 52 week high. Market bet was good today compared to 24 sectors yesterday, 29 sectors were up. Varun Beverages was rocking today 3.7%. Asian Paint continues to go up 1.6%. In the chemicals pack, I have Asian Paints and Supreme Industries in my portfolio. Supreme Industries was up 3% today with very high volumes. Both l and and RVNL in the construction pack were up. Ultra Tech down but other cement stocks were up. Tent was down a bit but Nika was up 9.4% that too on phenomenal volumes. Besides ICI Securities and Novama Wealth, investment banking was doing well. Volumes were pretty good. Siemens did not go anywhere but ABB Hevels were both up 1.5%. Pharma was up a lot led by DVs 4% up. Real estate today cracked DLF, Macrotech, Godrej, Prestige. Everyone was down significantly 1.3% down. Specialty retailers were all up, including Kalyan Jewelers. Titan also up 2.5%. Page Industries 1.6%. This is another portfolio stock for me. And I have recently added Titan also. Nifty 50, 13 stocks down, 37 up. Today, best contribution came from TCS, HUL, ATL, ITC, Titan. But the banks, HDFC, SBI, ICICA were pulling the indices down. 19 stocks in 90 to 100% zone, 11 stocks in 80 to 90% zone. Next 50, 25 stocks down, 25 up. The leader today was Varun Beverages. The other stocks which were doing well, Madarsan Sumi, Vedanta, Dabar, United Spirits, Hevels. So today was another investment day as well as made some profits. Actually, BLI sold yesterday, but I forgot to mention. Today, I bought Motila Loswal, small quantity only. For now, it is in the trading portfolio. I might shift it to the investment portfolio also if there is a significant correction later on. I've talked about vehicle sales in previous videos also. Today there was an article on money control. This is a money control pro article, so you might need a subscription. Passenger vehicle dealers saddled with inventory worth 73,000 crore countrywide. This is 70 to 75 days worth of inventory, which is close to three months. An entire quarter's worth of vehicles are already lying with dealers and manufacturers unsold. This is against about one month of inventory, which is usually required. The auto sector is not reflecting any worry right now. Most of the stocks are close to 52 week high. Besides Tata Motors, the PE of most stocks are pretty aggressive. Volumes have already started thinning out. So is this an indicator or a precursor for an upcoming recession? I'll quickly talk about some of the points, quarterly boundaries. We are in Q2 right now, which is not that big for auto consumption. Q3, which is OND, October, November, December is the biggest. That has most of the festival, Navratras, Diwali. That too contains December, where people prefer not to buy the vehicle because in one month, your vehicle will become one year old. So Q2 volumes will be low in general in terms of sales. Now Q2 production volumes are typically high because you produce for Q3, which is the festive season. Because of the inventory, this production will be low. As a result, raw material consumption will come down. Sales will be down, so overall profitability will be okay. However, year-on-year -year numbers may look ugly at the end of quarter, which is Q2. So auto stocks, primarily passenger cars right now, they are big discretionary. People can postpone purchase of a car very easily. There are two biggest discretion. One is cars and, and second is a home. Both of them are interest rate sensitive also. So if the volumes here are impacted, then these manufacturers or owners will run to the finance ministry and put pressure for RBI to bring down the interest rates with immediate effect in the next meeting itself. Alarm bells are already ringing, at least in the car section. And today I showed you the reality stocks also cracked immediately that may or may not be related to the auto news at this stage. Now banks have reasonable exposure to auto loans. 
आई थिंक अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द ओवरऑल लोन पोर्टफोलियो बिलोंग्स टू व्हीकल्स फिफ्टीन परसेंट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वुड बी पैसेंजर कार्स नाउ दिस वोट गो टू जीरो बट देर विल बी अ डिप डेफिनेटली इन बैंक स्टॉक्स इफ कार्स आर नॉट सेलिंग बैटरी स्टॉक्स विल ऑल्सो गेट इम्पैक्टेड न्यू बैटरीज आर मोस्टली एक्साइड फॉर मोस्ट कार्स सो एक्साइड विल बी मोर इम्पैक्टेड कंपेयर टू हमारा राजा मेटल फोर्जिंग द डिमांड विल क्रैश वी आर ऑलरेडी डीलिंग विद स्लो डाउन इन चाइना स्पेशली स्टील स्टॉक्स विल गो डाउन एल्यूमिनियम हिंडालको इज वेरी हाई राइट नाउ एंड एल्यूमिनियम इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ अ कार सो हिंडालको मे गेट इम्पैक्टेड कॉपर वायरिंग विल गेट इम्पैक्टेड लाइक्स ऑफ मदरसन सुमी वायरिंग एंड सो ऑन द बिगेस्ट कॉपर कंपनी इज हिंदुस्तान कॉपर टायर मैन्युफैक्चर द न्यू वन एम आर एफ सी एट ऑल ऑफ दम गेट इम्पैक्टेड द रिप्लेसमेंट टायर इंडस्ट्री बालकृष्णा इंडस्ट्रीज इफ पीपल डोंट रिप्लेस देयर कार्स एंड बालकृष्णा टायर एक्चुअली मे सी एन अपटेक इन वॉल्यूम्स नाउ न्यू लॉन्चेज आर लाइनिंग अप ऑलरेडी फॉर द फेस्टिव सीजन दोज न्यू लॉन्चेज विल पुट इनफ प्रेशर और इनॉर्मस प्रेशर ऑन ओल्ड मॉडल्स ओल्ड व्हीकल्स ऑल दोज इन्वेंट्रीज एक्चुअली क्लियर बिफोर द सेरा दिस इज द टाइम वेन द एंटायर ओल्ड इन्वेंट्री हैज टू बी क्लियर विच इज नॉट हैपनिंग सो न्यू लॉन्चेज विल नॉट बी पोस्टपोन्ड बट डीलर्स विल हैव टू गिव हैवी डिस्काउंट्स फॉर द ओल्ड मॉडल्स अदरवाइज दे विल नॉट सेल एंड एज सोन एज यू रीच डिसम्बर इट बिकम्स अ terrible thing for the industry because manufacturing date is already stamped beyond a certain date people will not buy old vehicles so if you are looking for discounts then a lot of discounts may come soon this expectation as soon as it is known in the public will put a further downward pressure because people will postpone even if they can buy they will expect discounts and they will wait till the discounts arrive now further problems the job cuts the new job postponements like infosys yesterday postponed the rate of joining for freshers if the interest rate cuts are not big and people don't like the cuts then it will put pressure on the vehicle sales i personally feel no one is waiting for interest rate cuts if the industrial output goes down in general the economy feels like there is a recessionary condition if inflation picks up then all of these would put negative pressure on the stock prices further i feel that for now auto stocks are peaking the other ancillary industries which feed into auto and i have not listed a complete set here they could see a quarters delay in their price corrections but i feel that unless something really drastic happens it is very difficult to clear all this inventory one possibility is if finance ministry gets involved they could reduce the export duties significantly for maybe a quarter that may lead to significant exports in two wheelers as well as four wheelers leading to clearing the queue which has formed right now i am not very hopeful however Hope this information was useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.